Lake's new storm team. I'm Kale. I'm Rowan. This is Charlie. And we're on Lake Audubon. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Yeah, they are having fun with Charlie. It looks like he's getting ready to fetch. If they could just teach him to fetch a fish uh, out on uh, Lake Audubon, that would be great. Hey, guys, thank you for that. Hey, Tom. All right, now we have a wind advisory. This one is uh, set to expire at 6 o'clock. That's just one of the things we have going on. And then once this takes over, uh, we have a winter weather advisory. You see all these counties in the north. It uh, could be 1 to 3 inches of snow might be a couple of spots to get a tiny bit more than three and then less snow farther south but still some snow so we have some kind of sloppy weather for the next uh, couple of days and for tonight and tomorrow windy with snow and rain kind of depends on where you're at kind of a wintry mix kind of thing uh, could be up to three inches in the north again there might be a spot here or there that gets more than that but most people will top out at three and a lot We'll get even less than that. Mild temperatures the rest of the week, and this is nice for February. Uh, you might need the heavier jackets this weekend, especially in the north, but it does not look like we're going to go get, we're going to get one of those Arctic blasts, so that's a good thing. We're looking at the tower cam uh, right now at least four of them, and 40s to around 50 degrees across at least the bigger cities in western North Dakota. You can see these temperatures, and it's pretty windy, and those are the sustained winds. The wind gusts are obviously stronger than that. Uh, and looking at other temperatures, even up in the Turtle Mountains, we are well above freezing right now, so that is oh so nice. Bowman at 46. Uh, Linton at 50 degrees, even at uh, 5 o'clock. Uh, the wind speed, roughly 20 to 30 mile an hour for the sustained winds. Now, beach a little bit more than that, but not a lot. Uh, some of the wind gusts still really blowing right now. 44 in Hedinger, 46 in Dickinson, uh, Williston 43, Bismarck at 38, Minot 36 uh, miles an hour. So here's a six hour loop of the uh, radar, and this looks worse than it really is because the air was pretty dry, so a lot of it evaporated before it hit the ground. Some of it did, but it wasn't a lot. And our precision cast still has these uh, yellow wind streams here. And so that means even at 7 o'clock tonight, it's going to be pretty blustery. And then by later on tonight into tomorrow morning, look what happens. We have a, a system start to move in, the darker colors farther north, right? And uh, maybe a little wintry mix here or there. And uh, notice how the wind, these yellow wind streams. So even tomorrow, it's going to be kind of windy. And then that snow just kind of moves on through during the day. So most of us will likely have some snow or a wintry mix tomorrow. It's, again, except for a few areas that might get around three inches, it's going to be fairly light, you know, trace one to two inches for many areas. And this time of year, that really is a bad and it'll melt fairly quickly. And then even a Tuesday night at 10 o'clock, there still could be some snow in the south central. So here's the map we've come up with. And this would be the favored area for three inches or more. But, uh, you know, it could go either way. So, again, we're going to get some snow. The wind gusts tomorrow really strong by noon in the south, not quite as strong in the north. And if it's raining, it's going to be kind of sloppy. So or snowing is going to be kind of sloppy. The next 72 hours for Dickinson, 50% chance and, and kind of windy tomorrow. And for Williston, an 80% chance and kind of windy. And uh, temperatures tonight, still pretty pleasant for nighttime temperatures. And tomorrow, maybe not as warm as today, but above normal. And here's a look at the Bismarck 7-day. It is going to get a little bit colder over the weekend, but then early next week it warms up. Minot, being in the north, is going to be even colder this weekend, so you might need the heavier jack jackets in the north this weekend. In the north but even at that it's not a big uh, big drop off in temperatures but right now we've got a lot of wind and probably some snow yeah and that wind blew away what little snow we had That's right.